Like you ever see like those memes on Facebook like, oh, who do you feed first, your husband or your kids? Me. I feed me first. Good morning, YouTube family. So Thanksgiving is upon us. It has come and we've actually decided that we're not going to go home to Jersey because one, we didn't feel like driving back and two, plane tickets were crazy expensive. So we're just going to stay here and cook. And I'm crossing my fingers that everything goes well. Like I've made like a dish or two to take to Thanksgiving dinner, but I've never like cooked the entire Thanksgiving dinner myself. So it's a, it's a big undertaking and I know we should have like eased ourselves into this, but like, what, what are you going to do? We're here now. So let's just jump right into it. And I think like the first thing is going to be me and Theo cutting up some collard greens. Well, ripping out really, but y'all see what I'm talking about. So let's go. Okay guys, so the collard greens are in the sink, soaking, and give it a couple more minutes before I drain the water and then do it all over again to wash them. But in the crock pot, we have some, um, I don't know, is this pork neck? Like I know it's not turkey necks, but I just got them from the commissary. I know it's pork, smoked pork of some sort, what body part it is. I have no idea. But that is in the crock pot. And then onto the crock pot. We're going to add some chicken broth. And this is, what, 32 ounces. So we're going to do half of this. Because that would be 16 ounces, which would be two cups. I think my math is correct. All right, we're going to pour this in. That doesn't feel like how. And honestly, all right, so I poured half in, but it doesn't seem like it did that much. 
So screw it. We're just going to pour the whole thing in. Can always get more chicken broth. Okay. There we go. And then to that, I will be adding these um, jalapeno slices that I chopped up really small because I like a little bit of spice in my collard greens. So that is the next thing. Going into the crock pot and then we're going to let all of this soak and simmer for about like four hours. And then I'll put the collard greens in because I really want to get all the essence about this meat. So we're going to let all this soak. Well, not soak, but like all this boiled together in the crock pot on high for about four or five hours. All right. So I feel like a chicken with my head cut off, but rice is finished. Um, sweet potatoes are also finished, but I didn't put them in the oven. I just put them in a pan. That way, come tomorrow, all we have to do is heat it up. Um, macaroni and cheese, I can do that tomorrow. That's simple enough. Plus, I need the pots that have stuff in it. So, macaroni and cheese kind of has to wait until um, this pie crust unthaws so that I can pour that sweet potato mixture in there so we can have sweet potato pie tomorrow. And then I can wash out that pot and then that'll be the pot that we use to make the noodles for the macaroni. Um, collard greens are in the crock pot. Uh, what else? I feel like so much is happening. Like so much. Um, but it is now 1230 and I gave myself until 12 o'clock to get as much stuff done as I could. And then I needed to stop because I still have to work today. So I need to go upstairs, start getting ready for work. And then I don't get off till 8.30 tonight, so it's just going to be what it is. Like, it's, it's just it's just what it is. All right, but before I go, here are the collard greens that Theo was helping me rip up some giant pieces in there. But I'm not going to complain. I got help. Um, Swing over here. Here is the rice. All done. Um, I feel like there's something in the oven, but there's nothing in the oven. Oh. Then in the refrigerator, got some potato salad. Like, that's just one thing that I was not about to do. Um, <laughs> and then here is the sweet potatoes for tomorrow that all we have to do is put in the oven. And then this, I just need to throw that in the trash because that is some dinner that my husband made like two nights ago and... He's only like a one night leftover kind of person. Then after that, he's too good. And so it just sits there and starts to go bad. And that is what is happening right now. So I just need to throw that out. But yes, potato salad, check. Sweet potatoes, check. So then going to my list of things, uh, the roast is in the freezer. Still have to go. Two Sam's Clubs get the rotisserie chicken because we are not doing a turkey. Ain't nobody got time for that. Corn on the cob is in the refrigerator. In our veggie shelf, I can also make that tomorrow. Collard greens are cooking right now. Uh, mac and cheese I will do tomorrow. We have everything for that. Sweet potatoes is done. Rice and beans done. Hawaiian rolls. Theo ate all our Hawaiian rolls by his damn self. I was trying to hide them to see... To make, to make sure that they made it until Thanksgiving and went up there to check it yesterday and it was all gone. Like he just left the wrapper up there and ate every single last Hawaiian rolls. So I have to go get more today. Um, that was all the stuff for the collard greens, but I got all that. So yeah. Thanksgiving. Yay, it's so stressful when you're trying to do it by yourself. But okay, I gotta go get in the shower. I gotta go to work. Good morning guys. So it is like 8.45 right now and I'm up to finish cooking 
everything. Um, but the roast in the oven, um, I tr I'm trying to get everything done by lunchtime. Like, I want us to be eating by lunch. <sighs> the corn, I don't have to, like, jump on right now because that won't take much time. Um, checking back on my list. Oh, and the macaroni and cheese, I need to make that. Sweet potatoes, I just need to put in the oven. Um, the bean and rice, I just need to heat up. So that's not that big of a rush. I forgot to get the uh, rotisserie chicken. Like the ones at my job are super small and they're like six forty nine or something like that. And then I was supposed to go to Sam's and get it from Sam's because you know there was only like four or five dollars. But by the time I got off work, I just wanted to lay down. So, I don't know. We'll look in our freezer and see what other meats, chicken type things we have in there. And just make one of those and put it in the oven. Um, but yeah, I also didn't get any more Hawaiian rolls. The ones that Theo ate were just the only ones we were going to have. Because I just wasn't in the mood. And work was so busy that I didn't even have time to go and like buy some on like a break or something okay let's get started cooking so that it can be done might make myself some coffee while I work though that I am going to do Okay guys, so I'm going to have to run out to the store because I just realized that I forgot the aluminum pans for the macaroni and cheese and we also need an aluminum pan for uh, the roast to go in as well as an oven bag. So I think the only thing that is open is Dollar General in my Google search. That's what it said was open and big lots, but we don't have a big lots near us. So, trying to finish my coffee before I go. So I'm gonna run to Dollar General. And then there is a Dollar Tree on the way to Dollar General. So I'm gonna see if they're open today and get these little last minute things. So we can be done. I'm definitely getting my plate first before everybody else, before the husband, before the kids. Like you ever see like those memes on Facebook like, oh, who do you feed first, your husband or your kids? Me. I feed me first. Like, only person down here doing all this cooking and running around, best believe, I get my plate off top. I'm getting fed first. Just walked in the house from the store. I'm telling you, GPS sometimes takes you all around Robin's barn and still really doesn't even get you to your destination. All right, where's the light? There we go, there's the light. But after like U-turns and all that, like it was ridiculous, the directions that they took me. I had the nerve to say it was the fastest route. Lies. What did 
Dollar General. Got the aluminum pans that I need, but I also come back with Christmas tree garland and a Christmas tree and curtains and curtain rods. Like it, the Christmas tree was 50% off. That was the only reason that I got it. Like it was a $30 tree, a pre lit six foot tree that I got for $15. It'll work. They had a really pretty um, six foot pre lit flocked one that I really wanted, but when I looked it up before I left the house, it was sold out at all three Dollar Generals that are close to our house, so whatever. This six foot tree works just fine. But let me finish cooking this food because I'm hungry. I haven't even had breakfast. I'm still operating off that coffee because I'm telling you the diet is out of the window today. Like I plan on eating very good today. Hi, Thea Bia. You awake? You ready to eat? You ready to eat sometime? Yeah. You gonna try some food, Theo? Say yes, Mom. Mommy, so what you Um, Honestly, I would love it if you guys would sit on the black chairs, Theo. This one over here. Because they're easier to clean up. When you drop something on it. Here, come sit. That way when you drop food, Mommy can clean it. You say that, but experience has taught me otherwise. Okay, so fast forward a whole bunch of hours. Food is done. We have eaten. Potato salad, rice, chicken, roast, corn, sweet potatoes, mac and cheese. Then husband made cookies. I made pie. And then the collard green. And all of this <laughs> food was brought to you by one woman by herself, slaving over a stove, no help, all me. All me. Somebody should crown me. Like, I crown myself at this point. But now I have to find a place in the refrigerator for all of this to go. Because little dudes, my family know, it's going to be leftover for days. Like, four days we're going to be eating these leftovers. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Even though we all can't be with friends and family like we want to. Still hope you got some good food and you enjoyed yourself and you got to reminisce on what you're thankful for. And yeah, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Can I take you there?